You know, I heard the story of a dirigible that came up from its mooring. This is, I think it was back in the 30s when, when they were much more common. If you don't know what a dirigible is, they're, they're big airships. And there was a bunch of guys with these ropes and they're trying to, you know, get the thing fastened down. And there's, I think there's like a dozen guys, you know, sort of guiding it with the ropes. And this gust of wind came, lifted up in the air and lifted all the guys up with it. Some of them had the presence of mind to let go, but not everyone. And this thing just sailed up into the air and some of the guys let go at 50 feet high, other people 100, 200 feet high. All of them were injured, many of them died. And this thing sailed up to I believe about a thousand feet and they just watched everybody drop off one by one. And people were just, just watching with this, this, you know, horrified look. There was one final guy up there hanging onto the rope. Everyone's watching him way up in the sky thinking, man, it's been 10 minutes, he can't hang on much longer. 15 minutes, this guy's superhuman. 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour, he hasn't let go yet. Two hours, hasn't let go. Finally, somehow they managed to get the thing down. News crew was there and said, how did you hang on? That was superhuman. He said, well, when I realized I was up there too high to let go, I just took the extra rope and I tied it around my waist. <laughs> And I just sort of enjoyed the ride. He said, really, um, I wasn't holding the dirigible, it was holding me. And it's not so much an issue of you hanging on to God, it's more an understanding that God's hanging on to you. He's holding you. He's got you.